So this is the Lego Friends 41424 Jungle Rescue Baits with 648 pieces scattered throughout. The coolest of the pieces, I'm sure you're looking at the elephant here, which is one uh, plastic piece with uh, three color printing. And then there's another elephant here, which is uh, another plastic piece. Nothing moves on it, uh, but they do have the anti studs on the bottom. So, you know, you can use it if you need a structural ele elephant. I guess. Uh, you also get um, a crate. I do like crates because you can throw them just anywhere and they're fine and, you know, put relevant things in them sometimes. Vegetables, skulls, depends on the depends on what you're building. And another great piece right down here is the, uh, the sloth. Get a close up on that. Get a close up on that. It's a sloth. Could be a slow loris. I'm thinking it's a sloth. It's pretty big. Pink swirly slides. That's a cool piece. I'm gonna say the last cool piece is all of these uh, jungle foliage uh, pieces. They're really cool and they make it look great. Let's take a look at the minifigures. Yeah, this is Mia. She's looking sporty in her uh, jungle attire. Um, must be pretty warm wherever they are, but you know, watch out for mosquitoes. Uh, you know, it looks great. Uh, here we have Andrea, very nice printing all around, nice uh, sort of linen look uh, on, the, on the skirt and, you know, good high boots. Again, I think she's, uh, she's got the right idea when it comes to like snakes and like low vegetation with, so that's a good, that's a good look. Very nice for in the jungle. Yeah, so this is Olivia and, uh, you know, nice printing all around there um and again not does not have high boots this is going to be a problem this is good it's you're in the jungle you're in the jungle welcome to the jungle there's two main action features in this and one of them is this vehicle currently being piloted by our own andrea yeah it's got nice colors it's got a little uh this probably it looks like a ketchup dispenser but it's probably Probably a fire extinguisher. And then over here we've got some, some milk, so you could like, I don't know, put, a, put an elephant down here and drag it around. But that is, that is an action feature. All, all vehicles are action features, but there's another action feature. And where is it? Well, I mean, the slide is sort of an action feature. This. This is a beautiful action feature. There's a little knob here, and boom, it's on fire. And we put the fire out. And boom, it's on fire again. Look at that action, and we put the fire out. And then, so yeah, we can pretend we got a sloth over here, and it's being like, hey, what's going on? Boom, oh, there's a fire. Oh, we gotta get a fire. Um, here's the mechanism behind it. It's as simple as that. And it's on fire! And it's not on fire anymore. And it's on fire again! Whoosh! Yeah, so that's that's cool. I'm definitely gonna be using that in things that I build in the future. Uh, this is one of the smaller builds that comes with the set. It is like a double-decker bunk bed sort of deal. Um, these these are not supposed to be plain colors, these are supposed to be stickered. Uh, but I don't want to put stickers on it because it doesn't look that much better. But I mean, it, it does. I mean, this whole building kind of, I, I guess I, you need somewhere to sleep, but eh, I'll probably redesign really this to be something else later. It's got a nice purple stripe, simple build. Got the little PC there. That, uh, I'm assuming this is like decoration on top and not vegetation that's like gonna be like take taking out the roof soon, because they should clear that off then. And there's also some more vegetation growing back here. I don't know, maybe they're just not keeping it up. The final little mini build that you get here is a pizza gathering, where everyone sits to sit on stumps. Uh, these stumps are stickers, and they look really nice. Uh, the pizza is 
not a sticker that's a pre-printed pizza. Wait, wait, wait. Jungle Rescue, that, that is probably vegan pepperoni-like because you're supposed to be supposed to be saving the animals, not eating them. That's vegan. Overall, this is this is a very very tall set. It's about uh, it's about the size of a of a giant standing on the night bus for scale. We've got a lot of cool foliage all over the place, different colors. I was I was just mixing and maxing. I don't know if these I don't know if I was just fooling with these or if I did it right or didn't do it right, but they're they're really cool. Up here, we've got a, a laptop uh, powered by a solar panel. Thank you, Lego. Green energy there, and uh, some sort of megaphone thing over here for the uh, siren alert, and a little telescope. So you can hang out up here, look around, see what catches fire. You could probably, you know, be cool is if you got like a giant mirror, and then you could make things catch fire from up here. So maybe I'll build like a giant parabolic mirror so they can, you know, cook their food from up here. And you can get down really fast on the pink slide. Look at that. There's another stump out front and uh, some foliage. Over on the left side here, we have, uh, we've got some stairs going up to like a little animal hospital. And then there's a little bed here with little paw prints and you could stick things in there and you could put tools. I don't have the tools in here. Oh man, this is the worst. Again, solar powered, great green energy. Everything's looking cool here. Um, there are a couple more stickers that I did not put on that belong in the back there and in the back here. But, uh, you know, I like good stickers. Like on top here, this is a great sticker. Uh, the solar panels are stickers. No stickers, I don't know, they didn't, they didn't feel right to me. Around back, we actually have an action feature. It's doors that open. And there's a toilet in there. And uh, some sort of gear lever, because it might be one of those two, two stage toilets or I don't know, they have transmissions now. All right, and the other side, there's some, uh, there's some toilet paper and, uh, oh, there's water. There's water in the, in the bowl, so that's nice. And spider, there's a spider over here. Actually, if you want to make like a better action feature, just take the spider from over here and then put it in here. Oh God, yeah, there we go. Then close the doors. Now, now when Mia's coming, she's gonna, she's, there's gonna be some action. Ah! 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 Or it's probably her friend. Anyway. I was just fooling for you. Yeah, that's fighter, that's cool. That's cool. And I know everyone's like, Kevin, why aren't you talking about the elephant in the room? Which is not, in fact, the elephant. The elephant in the room is this guy. This is what makes this set cool. It uses a roller coaster track, uh, pinned up here, pinned down here, and then it's got things on it so you can stand on it. These super nice railings, super easy to put together, and Here's the deal. You ready? You can pick up the whole set by that. It is so solid. That can be the handle for this set. That's amazing. I'm amazed. Is it a good set? I'd say yes. I mean, the Fawn Fire action feature alone is fantastic. Plus you get diverse stuff. Uh, I'm not big on the elephants. <laughs> But the, uh, yeah, this, this fire thing, that's, that's killer. Grab a piece of fruit. That's what all the surgeons use. Like you're having a baby the size of a lemon. <laughs>